Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, in the series of videos that follows, I want to go over how you can make forms for your web page. Okay, so forms are all over the place, and if I jump back over to my browser here, um, this is the advanced search over at Flickr, and of course, forms are heavily used. Uh, there's a simple, a basic text box field up here in the top right corner, but what I wanted to draw your attention to were the fields used for this main advanced search form. They have selection menus, they produce a drop down menu, they have text boxes, so if you type text in, they've got some radio buttons here, so we can choose one of multiple options, another text box, another selection menu, more radio buttons, and they also have some check boxes. Make a note of this, check boxes allow you to select multiples out of multiple choices, whereas radio buttons allow you to select one out of multiple choices. So radio buttons and check boxes, selection menus and text boxes, plenty of those, and ultimately all forms need to have a submit button. This submit button is labeled search, but in reality it is a submit button. If I jump over to Zappos, of course they have a search box up here at the top, which is simply a text box with a submit button. And on Zappos they have a contact form with plenty of text boxes, couple radio buttons, selection menu, and a much larger text area box. So we have text boxes for one line of text and we have text area boxes for multiple lines of text. Now there are other form fields out there but the ones you've just seen are super common and the ones you should really learn first. Oh, and of course Zappos does have a submit button which they've labeled submit. So all forms generally have fields, they have a label so the user knows what that field is supposed to contain, and then a submit button. So let's go to, let's go to making one. And on my editor, I'm going to focus first on my basic text boxes. And by the way, the file that I'm making here, it is available. You can check it out in the video description. There's a link for the demo file. So you can go ahead and grab this. As you, um, in fact, follow along first on your own, but then you can grab mine a little bit later. Pretty basic stuff. So I've got, already got some styling set up here at the top. But let's go ahead and create this form. Now, whenever you create a form, just like whenever you create a paragraph, you mark it up with a set of form tags. So I have a set of form tags to create one form. And you can have multiple forms on a web page, but each form gets its own form tags, its own set. And within the form tags, you're going to have your various inputs, your labels, and of course your one submit button. Now within the opening form tag, I'm going to put a couple attributes that are not going to affect us too much early on, but I'm going to go ahead and put in method, and I'm going to do method equals post. There's two forms of sending form data. There's method equals post, method equals get, and for the most part that's not going to affect us because we're not going to do any um, server-side processing these forms later on. Method equals post is a bit more common. Um, the data of the form is sent along with the HTTP request. But just go ahead and type that in as it is. And the other attribute that's not going to affect us much right now is action. Okay, And we'll use this one later on when we want to actually make a function in contact form that uses PHP. But basically the action attribute is going to reference the URL where form is processed. Okay, So method and the action attribute go into the opening form tag and those are pretty essential when you're really making a true functioning form but for now we're okay we're just gonna make the look of the form and since I'm just doing a basic text box let's go ahead and get right into it my text box will ask for the users first and last names I'm gonna create a label for F name for their first name and then I'm gonna do an input type equals text. Now technically if you use an input tag without a type attribute it will default to the text box but I'm going to encourage you to mark the type. In fact I'm just going to leave it right as that and I'll go ahead and put in my closing label tag and in between and since I want my label to be in front of the input I'll go ahead and put in first name. So I've got a label tag with first name and then the actual text box and a closing label tag. Now since I'm using a for attribute in my label tag, by the way, I can wrap the entire set of label text and input with my label tags, perfectly legitimate. But if I have a for attribute, I can actually put my label surrounding just the label, but I need to make sure 
that my text box has an ID and the ID for the input needs to match the for attribute for the label. So there is my basic text box. I'm going to go ahead and copy that, paste it, and I'll make one for L name for last name, last name, change the ID. Excellent. So there's my basic form with simply two text boxes. And just so we can keep in practice, I'm going to go ahead and make an input type equals submit value equals send form. This is my basic submit button and the text on the form will be send form. So when I save this, head back over to my browser and refresh, I'll see that I now have, let me zoom in a bit for you here, I now have my label for first name, I can type in my first name, I have my label for last name, you notice when I click it activates that box, type in my last name, and then I have a submit button, which is going to try to send the form to whatever URL is in my action attribute. I'll just go ahead and click it, and of course it will not work. Page is not found. But that is a basic form with text boxes. And you want to know how to do text boxes because those are really going to be the most common form element you ever use. Okay? Some forms, in fact, are just text boxes, like a search box. So we'll go ahead and stop there. And in the next video, we're going to come back and we're going to add a little bit to this form. And I also want to show you some variations of other form elements that are very similar to text boxes.